Hey guys, it's Rob. Just doing a quick video showing the setup of the uh, clean flight on um, the mullet board. You'll see I've just got a board there connected and held down with a battery to keep it level. Uh, just connected via a single cable to the receiver using CPPM mode and that receiver is bound to this uh, Tyrannus radio. So let's just go into the clean flight software and uh, have a look at how it all works. First thing we do is connect. Now, if you're familiar with base flight, this is going to look fairly similar. Okay, you've got the model there, and when you move the board, that model obviously moves. This is the window where you can calibrate the accelerometer. Let's just click on that. So, accelerometer calibration started and finished. That was pretty straightforward. Okay, go through these tabs. Ports, I didn't touch anything there. Configuration, obviously, you make sure you've got the right type. It's a quad X. And over here, ESC motor features. I had to tick the box to uh, ensure the motors stop when the throttle is in uh, minimum position. Okay, so the motors don't spin when you arm the board. I use a separate throttle mix in the radio to keep the motors running at all times in flight, but uh, I've mentioned that in other videos. There's your um, motor settings. Again, they're all fairly default. Come down here. The receiver mode, you had to select uh, PPM if using that mode. If not, um, you'll need to select the third option there, PWM, if you're just using all the, the individual um, connectors between the receiver and the board. Go down a bit. Serial receiver provider, it just defaulted to 1024 Spectrum and that seems to work fine, so I didn't need to change any of that. Come to the PID tuning window. Okay, this is where you select the PID controller. I've just selected uh, three, but you have the other options there. Just remember if you do change it, you need to click save, otherwise it won't be uh, recorded. Now these are the default PID settings when I loaded CleanFlight. I have no idea what they fly like. Um, this is uh, not on a quad at the moment, so I haven't even tried flying with CleanFlight, so they may require a bit of adjustment, I don't know. Uh, roll and pitch rate, yaw rate and TPA, you just need to set those up. They're all uh, zero by default when you load CleanFlight. Come into the receiver. Again, this is going to look familiar if you uh, have used base flight before. So basically just moving any of the controls on the radio, you'll get the indication in the window. And you need to use the sub trim to make sure they're all as close as possible to, uh, to 1500. Over here, we set up the RC rate 0.90. I think that was default and Expo is uh, 0 .00. Don't know if I've actually set that myself or if that's how it was by default. I honestly can't remember, but set that to your own personal liking. Okay, go into the modes. Now this is where it's a bit different. Let me just show you how we set this up. Okay, if you want self-level or angle mode they call it, we need to add the range. Now this toggle switch here on my radio is going to move this little yellow bar here. Okay, so basically that's minimum, middle, and maximum will be over here somewhere. So let's just have a look at that. Horizon mode. And Acro mode. up here, it's uh, above 2000 as you can see. So what you need to do is uh, select the position that you want, Horizon mode. which is Zone there, level mode. and then adjust the slider bars to capture that position. As you can see there, now that it's captured, the angle mode is armed. If I flick this switch, horizon mode, acro mode. You'll see it's no horizon longer armed. Mode. So you do the same thing with uh, with the horizon. You add the range. It kind of defaults to the middle there, so that's fine. That's going to work. Horizon mode. And now you can see horizon mode's active. If you flick this switch acro forward, mode. you'll see the uh, indication is here above 2000 and there's nothing capturing it in that position, so that's uh, just going to default to acro mode. Adjustments, not sure about that, probably not necessary unless you want to get a bit fancy with your programming. Servos, no servos on the Quad X, no GPS on the Naze Acro board, and the motors. This is where we can actually test if uh, the outputs are correct. Okay, so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to just arm the board. Engines armed. And let's just move the throttle slightly. Okay, so you see we're getting some sort of motor output. Now if I move that throttle all the way to idle, and leave it there, the board will disarm by itself. But uh, what we can do is we can overcome that with my little mix. Just flick, Idle up. flick that up, and now no matter what you do with that throttle, the motor.
motors are going to keep running, as you can see. That's just my personal preference when I'm flying so that the motors don't stop in flight. Okay, moving the stick, if I move this aileron right and left, we're going to get motor pairs one and two and three and four working together. So that's correct. One and two is on the right, three and four is on the left. So as you're rolling left and right, that's correct. Now, if I move the elevator, remember my radar is mode one. Motors four and two are on the front, one and three on the back. So they're the motor pairs that you expect to see working. One and three and two and four. Okay, so that's all uh, working fairly well. So I'll just disarm that Idle down. board. Engines disarmed. And stop. And the rest of the settings are LED strip. I haven't read about that. Sensors, looks like it just uh, monitors the sensors. Logging, haven't even looked at any of that. Data flash, it says not compatible data flash chip, so irrelevant here. And there's your CLI, which again is very similar to uh, what you have in base flight. So that looks like uh, the basic setup. We go back to the front page. You see it actually tells you there, um, unsafe settings were lost. So you have to remember to hit save if you're in uh, CLI mode. So there we are. I think it's pretty straightforward. Um, it would just be a matter of installing and setting up the parameters to, to make it fly properly, but uh, I, I can't see anything that's more difficult than setting it up with base flight there. Hopefully that's helpful. Thanks for watching.